Nashville TV event coverage presented by SCT Performance. Chris Reaney is the quickest man in Pro Street. He's been chasing a five all year. He got it here in Indy. Tell us a little bit about that run. Oh, the run was actually unbelievable. You know, we knew we could do it. We've run fast enough in the eighth mile that we knew we could go in the fives. We just never could put it together here at NMCA. It's been a little bit of a rough year, new car, a uh, little bit of combination issues, getting it figured out. Uh, we knew if we could make a good run to the middle, we could make a good run out the back. The run before, we went uh, 604, and definitely the track is killer out here. The air is decent. Um, I mean, I, like I said, I knew we had the power to do it. I knew we had the car to do it. It's just, you know, this year has just been a struggle. It's been a changeover for combination of motor, car, and, you know, we just kind of got behind the eight ball all year long. We come out, Bradington, number one qualifier, went 603, set the record, and we just couldn't get back there. Just we could, every race, just, you know, something would go wrong, or, you know, we just couldn't get the setup right for the racetrack. I mean, the tracks that we've been to this year have been great. You know, and the car has been, you know, really running well in the eighth mile format where we race, you know, back on the East Coast. And, you know, we've been 390, 190 to the middle, and, you know, we just couldn't get in the, in the, anywhere in the threes, run a quarter mile out here. And, you know, yesterday, I mean, you know, we turned it up a little bit and we just went for it, and it just made a clean, smooth run. It went 392 to the middle, 190. Um, and then out the back, it ran its normal numbers, and, you know, obviously it came up on the board where, I mean, my engine builder, Charlie Buck, He's here, he just about fell over the start line. You know, I called ATI Performance, Cook's Custom Hatters, everybody that gives us help. I mean, you know, we knew you know, we knew we had the capability to do it, we just couldn't get it done, and finally it's done. Unfortunately, it's the last race, and we're in a points hunt, and we're number two. Um, we need to go out there and win this thing. We're done setting records, we're just trying to go up and down the racetrack. So that leads me to my final question. What do you do for a strategy today? Do you turn it back a little bit and try and be a little more conservative, make sure you can put the power down? Or do you have to leave it turned all the way up, try and get that points uh, that points advantage that you need? You know, I want to use the overused frame. This is Indy, you know, and it, the track is good. And, you know, we're going to make a decision in a little while. I mean, we know we go up and down the racetrack, and we want to back up the record for the points. We need the points. Um, you know, my sponsors, you know, they give us help to win. Records are nice, number one qualifier is nice. We've been a number one qualifier a bunch of times this year and couldn't seal the deal. So we're not looking to chase it, really. We're, we're looking to win the race. And, you know, I mean, all the, all the companies that give us help, I mean, they, they, you know, people remember wins. They remember big things like a first five second pass in Pro Street. I was glad we did it. You know, it would have been nice to have a double five second pass if we had been next to, you know, Bill. But, you know, we got to do it first. That means a lot. It's going to mean a lot to every, every brand that's stickered on here, every company that gives us help. Um, you know, I mean, today, like I said, we're going to go out there. We're just going to look at a run consistent. And if we need to turn it up, there's more in it. Well, Chris, thank you very much for keeping it interesting. We'll be keeping an eye on you in eliminations. Thank you very much.